Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice math problem, which is x times square root of x. This is equal to x plus square root of x. So what is the value of x? Let's prevent the solution from here. The first step from here, we can write square root of x to be equal to y. So this implies that x is the same thing as y squared. x is the same thing as y squared. Given that x is greater or equal to 0. So let's substitute that is square root of x which is y and x which is y squared back to the equation. So we have x which is y squared times square root of x which is y. This is equal to x which is y squared then plus square root of x which is y so y squared times y this is y to power 3 this is equal to y squared plus y so let's take y squared plus y on the left add side so that now we have y to power 3 subtract y squared minus y this is equal to 0 so the next step is to factor out y, y is common here, so we can factor out y, so that we have y into the parentheses, y squared minus y minus 1, this is equal to 0. So this implies that we have the first value of y is equal to 0. And we have the second part here, which is y squared minus y minus 1, this is equal to zero now you find that this is a quadratic equation of the form a y squared plus b y plus c this is equal to zero so this implies that from this quadratic equation we have a is equal to one b is equal to minus one and c is equal to minus one so let's apply the quadratic formula so that we have y2, y3, we can use the quadratic formula which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c over 2 times a. So let's substitute the values of a, b and c so that now here we have minus minus 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared, this is minus 1 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, then times c, which is minus 1, divided by 2 times 1. So this implies that here we have minus times minus 1, this is 1, plus or minus the square root of minus 1 squared, this is 1, subtract, now here we have minus 4 times minus 1, so this is plus 4, then over 2. So this implies that here we have 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4, this is 5, then divided by 2. So here we have y2, comma, y3. Now, this implies again here that y2 is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2, and we have that y3 is equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Now given that we have three values of y, we have y1 is equal to 0, y2 is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, y3 is 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. So if you recall, we have that y is equal to square root of x. So let's solve for the values of x. Now given that y1 is equal to 0, this translates that square root of x is equal to 0, and this implies that x1 is equal to 0. This is the first value of x. Now, given again here, we have that the square root of x is equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, and we have that the square root of x is equal to y3 which is 1 
minus square root of 5 over 2. Now we have that the square root of x, we have that the square root of x, this is actually positive. That means that we get a square root of x, this should give us a positive value, which is also equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, which is positive. So this means that we can proceed here to solve for x. The, the second part here, we have that the square root of x is positive, but now if we get the square root of x, it should give, give us a positive value, which is here we have 1 minus square root of 5 over 2, which, is, which will give us a negative value. So this means that this will not give us the this will not give us the actual result. So this is this part is rejected. So this part is rejected. So let's proceed with this part. That is square root of x. This is equal to square root of 5 plus 1 over 2. To solve for x from here, let's square both sides. Let's square both sides so that now square root of x squared, we eliminate the square root sign so that x is equal to, now here we have square root of 5 plus 1 over 2 squared. Now you find that square root of 5 plus 1 over 2 squared, this is in the form of a over b raised to power n which we can express as a to power n over b to power n. So let's apply this exponent property so that now here we have x is equal to square root of 5 plus 1 squared divided by 2 squared. And this is equal to, now square root of 5 plus 1 squared, this is in the form of a plus b squared which we can express as a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. So let's apply this algebraic identity. Now we have that x is equal to square root of 5 plus 1 over 2 squared. And this is in the form of a over b raised to power n, which we can express as a to power n over b to power n. So let's apply this exponent property so that x is equal to, now here we'll have the square root of 5 plus 1 squared divided by, this is now 2 to power 2. So we find that square root of 5 plus 1 squared, this is actually in the form of a plus b squared, which you can express as a squared plus b squared plus 2 times a, b. Now applying this algebraic identity, this follows that here we have that x is equal to square root of 5 squared plus 1 squared then plus 2 times 1 times square root of 5. All this divided by 2 squared which is equal to 4. Now here we have that x is equal to square root of 5 squared. This is actually equal to square root of 5 squared, we eliminate the square root sign, so this is 5, then plus 1 squared, this is 1, then plus 2 square root of 5, divided by 4. So this implies that here we have x is equal to 5 plus 1, this is 6, plus 2 square root of 5, divided by 4. So you find that 6 plus 2 here, 2 is common, we can factor out 2, so that x is equal to 2 into the parentheses. This is the same thing as 3 plus square root of 5 over 4. So let's simplify here by 2, 1, by 2, 2. So this means that we have x is equal to 3 plus square root of 5 over 2. So this implies that we have two values of x. That is x is equal to 0, or x is equal to 3 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. So these are the values of x. Kindly follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe.